If I knew then what I knew now, I would have, you know, stopped it. I would have stopped it right then. You know, that to me has been the tragedy. It's just how it spiraled, how it's affected each of us. I, I just want this to be my public apology to the people of Utah. I'm sorry. Be it resolved by the Senate of the State of Utah, whereas Jell-O is representative of Good Family Fun, which Utah is known for throughout the world. Whereas, throughout 2000, Brigham Young University students campaigned to make Utah's love of Jell-O official. Whereas, more than 14,000 signatures have been collected from the people of Utah in support of the campaign to select Jell-O as the official snack of Utah. Now, therefore, be it resolved that the Senate of the State of Utah recognize Jell-O as a favorite snack food of Utah. It started out so, so innocent, you know, like so many ideas that we get. I wanted something that could represent us, something that would be emblematic of the people of Utah. You know, I, don't, I didn't want something like, you know, funeral potatoes. I didn't want fry sauce to represent it. I wanted it to be jello. Oh, blip. You know, I got some people on board and, you know, I thought, hey, maybe, you know, maybe this could, this could work. But like, you know how like, some people like have like passions, you know, like Jell-O is mine. Like, that's the reason I live. Like, I wake up every morning so I can eat Jell-O. And like, I go to school so I can learn how to make Jell-O. Literally, my grandma was on her deathbed. Literally her deathbed. And I like came to her with like a plate of Jell-O and she got better within like a day. I eat green jello because yeah, I love the flavor of it too. Though the newly established state snack was initially met with exceedingly great joy and exceedingly greater waistbands, all was not well in the jello belt. The resistance efforts soon joined together in protest of the wiggly jiggly substance, but Senator Blackham and the forces of the state were too strong. All alternative desserts, ice cream, brownies, were swiftly deported. Political careers were ruined, stores were raided. Jello became more than just a snack. It became a savior, the new sacrilege. I knew since day one that it was absolutely absurd Ridiculous. to vote Jell-O as Utah State snack. It's flubbery, it's, it doesn't satisfy any needs, and it is going to represent our state. It is absolutely ridiculous. I haven't gotten myself to eat it, not since the accident. I believe it's a government conspiracy. I think they have uh, planted jello in the hearts and minds of us here in Utah so that we'll be less able to chew solid foods when when the time comes that we can't get jello. I, I don't believe it's an epidemic. I believe that this is just part of the evolving culture that we can just learn to integrate into our lives. There are those who, who demonize jello. It, it doesn't mean that it's something that's really, really that bad because I, I love jello. I'm highly disappointed in the people of our city. You know, this has been doing things to me, man. If I could just eradicate Jell-O from off the face of the earth. I don't understand the big deal about Jell-O. It's like, it's nothing special. There's so many better options. There's ice cream, there's brownies. Like, why would we pick Jell-O? Jell-O in the Mormon culture. Well, at least in the culture that I understand it, Jell-O, you know, it's taken over the youth. Literally, Jell-O. But, you know, it's like anything else, it's a gateway. We talk about radical groups, you know, they're, you know, they're in the news, they're in the papers, they're on the TV stations, but, you know, you never assume that it'll come from your own kind of people. People are going to talk about this for years. This is only the first of a horde of documentaries and articles and blogs. Can we say that we have learned anything from this?